So we've just done our passport control straight through. And just up here, it looks like a ski resort. The loads of like villas. I can't see anyone skiing. There's no skiing on that slope right in front of us and the smaller one to the left. See all those little black dots? Oh, they're people. They're all skiers. Oh, I love them. Look at them. They look so cute, don't they? <laughs> First time filling up with fuel in France. The man butt didn't know which one was diesel. Had to Google that as well. Who knew? So you've got gasoline. <laughs> it's diesel. Well, I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, we're going to break down in about 10 minutes' time. We've just discovered the card machine is on there as well because we were originally parked over there and realised the hut. Is shut. Massive, massive learning curve. <laughs> I was in Lidl's earlier on and I was picking things up based on what I recognised from shopping at home. Yeah, it, it was a little bit strange, I'm not going to lie. Um, but whilst I was in there shopping, uh, one of the French ladies turned up in the car park and offered Stu to go and stay in, in her garden. <laughs> So we are um, about a mile away from an air. We're going to go try it out and hopefully we can chill there for the night because we haven't yet got out of the van all day. Um, we've done some birthday stuff for Amelia and um, yeah, they've been playing on their games and stuff, but obviously we all want to get out and have a walk. The weather is beautiful, although I am getting some weird looks because I'm in a t-shirt and they're all wrapped up in like fluffy <laughs> coats and scarves. Um, but yeah, it's it's been so far so good. So we've managed to get on a campsite tonight. We're close to Le Mans. We've done about a three and a half hour journey today. We stayed on an air last night in Montville and that was just so, so pretty. It was right next to a massive lake. There was ducks, there were swans, you could feed them. The guys uh, had a shop there so you could have ice cream, candy floss, all that sort of stuff. So we've made our way down here today. And uh, on the way down, we stopped at one of their supermarkets and I've managed to buy some bits. So, have a look at this. I've got me some poulet. I don't know if that's how you say that right, but chicken. Pork. Peppers. And some onions with some sticks. So, I'm planning to do my first ever real homemade kebabs never done it before but i want to give it a crack ready for the barbecue because i've noticed over here they tend to make all their food themselves and i'm not very good at it so i'm going to give it a bash and see what happens how awesome do these look our first barbecue since we've been in france i'm landed get their steaks on the barbie Nom, nom. So we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there was just miles and miles of farmland. Found a cheeky little campsite so we could all have a shower and just a recharge. Peaceful. Get, we haven't seen anyone, have we? If you green pepper, it tastes like asparagus. Yeah, does it? Yeah. So yeah, we've literally got a pitch with hedges all around us and we're able to do this. Yeah. And it's, uh, it just feels lovely and private. So it's Monday morning. We uh, were treated to a site yesterday. Let's just say that some of the airs we've been to have been nicer. Um, we were supposed to have water on our pitch. There was nothing. It was very pricey. It was 30 euros, which I've just found out and I'm mortified because we have just had the most random of showers, blowing hot and cold. <laughs> I have to keep dinking the thing on the wall. Um, but we're showered, we're clean, so that's the main thing. We've got a bit of water now, we've emptied the loo, but we've got to go and find a laundrette, so we've got heaps of wash in here. And to be honest, we didn't trust the dryer on site to get it dry in time before we had to get off, did we? No, definitely <laughs> not. But we're yeah, so while we're here, we've spied um, a jet wash, because Sheila's absolutely stinking. So we're gonna go jet wash her while we're waiting and have some breakfast. Laundry complete. Yes, that's our laundry done. 
That's us good for the next week. Today we have just but to, we we know we're not going to get to Toulouse today. It's 405 miles away, but that's the direction we're heading. So we're just gonna keep dri driving there till we've had enough, and then we'll once I've had enough driving, I'm gonna just park up, get on the search for sites app, and find a nice air for the night, and we'll bunker down. Job yep. done. The kids have now got some electronics time that they've earned. They've just done about an hour and a half worth of schoolwork. They were really good as well, to be fair. They were good, they were yeah. Good. Yeah, they did a bit yesterday as well. So we're we're on it, aren't we? Yeah. Any opportunity we get, you know, if we stop somewhere. Well, it's the perfect opportunity, isn't it? If you sat there and they're just going to be waiting around, do some school time. It means more time for play later on, so. Yeah. Today, is proving to be a bit of a mission. We've um, found an air about an hour ago, and when we got there, there wasn't a single motorhome in sight. We explored the town, got back to the van, and we were like, oh, we've got loads of time. Shall we go and drive another hour south? So we've just arrived in, what's the place called, sorry? Chateau, Chateau, Chateau Roux, Chateau Roux, or Chateau Roux. So we've driven about an hour, hour and a half on the way like further down. We found another air that's got like a lake nearby and you can get food and you're near the town and everything. But it's full. So this is the spot we found last night just as the sun set. We couldn't actually see where exactly where we were. I'm still in my pyjamas. I haven't even brushed my hair. I've just jumped out of bed. just over there. We'll drop the what three words in below. And just as you turn around, this is what we are greeted with this morning. I brought the kids over here. Look how freezing they are. See if we can find some ducks to feed this morning. How lovely is this? Okay, go on then. <laughs> Good morning. So we didn't do much recording yesterday. We popped, stopped at an aid just north of Toulouse. The plan was originally to go into Toulouse. Uh, we were going to go and treat the man but and the boys to a space centre. Yeah. But we realised very quickly we couldn't get into Toulouse without a low emission sticker, which we obviously would have had to apply for before coming into the country. So, so no space centre. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, we thought, we just head straight down to our destination, wouldn't it? So yeah. where is it we're going? We're going to the Pyrenees and more importantly, Andorra. I can't wait to get up there. We're really close. Can we go? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wicked. That's actually a really cool town. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the sign. Andorra. Andorra. We are in Andorra. This is cool! Yeah man, what a town! You can see as well, it's a very cool town. Oh wow, it's just stunning! <laughs> McDonald's Pyrenees, that's so cool. Oh look, they've got their little ski lifts going! Yeah. Yeah, when we went to Scotland, they didn't have the ski lifts going though, did they? So, whoa, look how high it is! Oh yeah, that is epic. Oh, look at the little peoples. See if I can show you tidy. There you go. All the ski lifts going up there. I'm absolutely pooping my panties. <laughs> you can't say that. Why not? Look at it. Look at the drop. Look, it's like. There's a Whoa. big drop. Watch this now. Huge drop. 
even as a driver, it's making me nervous. Oh no, I don't like it. <laughs> Please be careful now, right? I can't handle it, it's making me feel a bit queasy. If it makes you feel any better, I have no plans whatsoever of driving over the edge. I don't get funny about heights either, but like a couple of times I've I've absolutely just gone. Oh! No, it's normally me this thing about heights, isn't it? And I never used to be. It's literally only the last couple of years the heights are just like whoa, spins my head. Yeah, I don't know how you're doing it actually, because you're like right on the edge. <laughs> I'm alright. I couldn't be a passenger in this situation right now. Wow, oh my god. Oh my god. That is epic. Are you joking? Have we got to go back down now, the other side? Oh no. I have not gripped this hard in my whole life. is just here on the right hand side and praying they've got a space for us good morning so it's uh, eight o'clock and we've got the kiddies out playing already don't know if you can see them out there having a whale of a time i've cleaned up this place and the man bet is cleaning the van for weeks and weeks I've not been able to see in all this section and I've put my neck out because I've been sitting sideways in the front just so I can see all the views so um yeah I'm pretty impressed with this eight o'clock in the morning what is going on so we've decided we're going to go and take a trip into Andorra city today which is just over there and we're going to go and see what we can find because yesterday it absolutely chucked it down so all we could manage was a bit of swimming um we were all in bed by half past seven because there was no internet and no telly so yeah we were a bit miffed uh, well you could get internet if you want to spend 150 quid or whatever it was a lot of money um yeah so we're going to go ahead into town hopefully show you around there um and then yeah it'll just be an afternoon of letting the kids go swimming i think and uh, yeah, we'll update you from there. Andorra. So yes, we're in Andorra, which is right in the middle of the Pyrenees. It's one of the smallest countries on this continent. And wow, is it stunning. Yeah, although it's minus three, so hence why we're wrapped <laughs> up. And yeah. um, I think the highest temperature today is nine. Yesterday, it literally chucked it down all day, but this morning we've been blessed with some sunshine. It's sunny all day, just cold. So yeah. we're venturing out for a visit, but check this view out. So as you can tell, the sun is only just coming up. Um, the mountains are so high that um, it's <laughs> yeah. going to take till about lunchtime before we start feeling warm. So, yeah. But beautiful, what a beautiful city. It's yeah. so modern. Well, it never used to be this modern. It's no. only now, if you look around, you'll see cranes everywhere and each building is brand new or is being built. And yeah. there's a lot of new ski villages and resorts we noticed, wasn't there, when we yeah. were coming down. What a drive. It's gorgeous. What a drive. So glad we've come here. Yeah. We were, we could say, we're heading down into I Spain and it's like, this is somewhere I've always wanted to visit. And I'd only ever heard about it, so it was yeah. worth a check out. Definitely worth. So we're going to go and check out the city now. Come along with us and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let's go. So they're building all these apartments in the city centre. Absolutely amazing how much work is going on. 
see all the trains everywhere. It's really noisy just because of all the building works. What I love as well is all these pedestrian things. They give you the amount of seconds Quick. you've got to cross the road and they give you a green man or like a happy face, don't they, Stu? Yeah, yeah they give you like... It's like Emoji City, it. innit? Yeah. You get seconds for how long you need to wait. That's right. So it tells you, tells you everything. So even if you don't speak the language, it's easy to understand when it's safe to cross and when it's not. The other thing we noticed here as well is there's literally a gas station about every uh, half, half a mile. mile. <laughs> <laughs> At one point there was three, wasn't there, on top of the mountain? All next to each other though. And we were like, obviously this is a common place for people to run out of gas. Yeah. <laughs> but we're literally in awe of all the buildings, aren't we? But we were the, yeah, the architecture here is very modern, very beautiful. The scenery's stunning. Just, you could literally just walk up the street just looking around, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> two euros for two coffees. Tidy. That's alright, isn't it? Yeah. They're a bit smaller than we normally have, but for that price. So we've noticed you can go into one shop and they speak French and you can go into the shop right by the side. Oh, it's Spanish. And they speak Spanish. So I think because it's on the border right between the two, you, you can literally get either language, can't you? But the dominant language in Andorra is Spanish. Uh, but there's a lot of French here as well. Yeah, and you can tell which one's the French because their shops are always shut till lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Spanish are open. <laughs> right, so we've just gone in here. I need some new sunglasses. I've left my birthday set at home. So we've just been in there and managed to get ourselves some specs. Check us out. <laughs> New driving glasses, fashion glasses. Yeah, man, I feel better already. <laughs> Thanks, man, but. <laughs> so, right in the centre of Andorra, they've got playing fields and a nice big park for the kiddies. Right next to a river. So, we need to head that way now back to the Mensa home. I just wanted to show you our last little bit. This is where we've stayed in Andorra. We've decided to stay another night because we've liked it so much. They've got a swimming pool, a bar, restaurant, and a shop on site. So yeah, this was nice. They've got your, you know, obviously you've got toilets and showers and everything. So we've got a super meerkat. Sells your ice creams, alcohol bits and bobs but yeah it's lovely so we're gonna take the kids swimming in a sec